hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be making our semi hot processed soup this hot processed soup will just make it with the item available to us to make a semi hot processed soup the important thing is to dissolve your caustic and use it immediately so we'll be dissolving our caustic and we'll use it immediately oh, there's not time to if it is in cold process you need to set the caustic aside to get cold but this particular production will be dissolving it. Here is our pre-measured ingredient, and here is 81 gram of our caustic. And in here we have 245 grams of our water. So we'll add this to our caustic and we'll stir. Stir to allow it to dissolve. So we'll dissolve this. Please keep up when you are working with caustic. Don't mind me. I'm used to this. To the extent I'm no more scared of it, guys. But it's good you do the proper thing, you know. Because if this should splash on your body, it will burn your skin, guys. So you stir until the caustic is fully dissolved. So when you are sure that your caustic is fully dissolved, you bring in your oil. Here is my oil. Here is a mixture of my uh, palm, picky oil and the bleached palm oil. And I'll be adding my caustic. This is 500 grams of my oil. And into that, I'll add in my caustic. So the heat from the caustic will help to cook the soap. So you stir until they are fully emulsified. So you stir it to make sure they are fully emulsified. Stir, 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 stir. Sometimes there is need to warm your oil. Not for it to be very hot, just to, for it to be warm. But well, today I will just be making it that way. Make sure you emulsify the oil and the caustic. That saponification is taking place then it's time to cover it up to trap in the heat from the caustic that will help to cook the soup so that in this situation you can prepare your mode very late guys so we trap it this in and go prepare our mood hey guys welcome back so i left it for just 10 minutes and uh, you can see you see you see this first thing I, i'm trying to force gel you can see how far it has gelled gelled so well guys so i'll cover it again and go and um, grab my alcohol i want to add little alcohol to this but this has cooked you can see how fully cooked after i covered it for some time so i'll just cover it and go and get my alcohol and i'll come back Okay guys, so I just add little of my isopropane alcohol into the soup, little of it, just little, I was supposed to pour it in the first time when I came, but I need to go get this alcohol because I want it to be a little transparent, so I just stir it up. it up you can see it has begun to thicken because I had to attend to some other thing <laughs> when I showed it was when I was supposed to pour it but I needed to add alcohol but upon going to get the alcohol I immediately start doing some other thing so at that stage when it was liquid you can pour it or you will you may decide to make it a little transparent by adding your alcohol you can add in your sugar solution your glycerin at this point okay guys but i'll be using just alcohol to break this down to liquefy the soap more and so i will add it to the mold so i'll cover this so that the alcohol will be trapped right in the soap i don't want it to escape 
chop it in. So I leave it trapped to allow the alcohol to break down the soup a little so that it can be pourable. So now I will just have to pour it now into the mold. It will have been in liquid form, but then this is what I got. Fully gelled, fully cooked, no sugar, no uh, no sugar in here, there's no uh, glycerin in here. So, but this will also make the soup to be transparent and look uh, as um, light can pass through it. So I didn't add any color to this. So I'm just putting it there. This is our brown cream soup. This is our semi-processed soup making. So I don't know where the color of this my mood is. So what I will be doing is to cover it with whatever cover available to me and soak with this nylon and leave it to sit here for uh, at least some hours. Then I'll come and remove it. At least for um, 12 to 24 hours. So, and I'll come and remove that and show you guys the outcome okay guys here, here is our soup i left it overnight in the mood i left it overnight in the mood and it is time to unmold it let's go ahead and unmold this soup one down okay that's falling off so here is our soup here's a beautiful bar of soup and this is a sardine this is such a hard bar you can see how i'm hitting it it's hard i'll cut it to show you the soup i'll cut the soup this is such a beautiful soup So it's not compulsory you pour your alcohol into your semi-processed soup. But I just want to get this shine. Or rather I have alcohol to waste here. I would have to say this is just for home use. I should have added one. So here. You can see the shine. This is a result of the alcohol. These bars are very big. So here's our end result of our soup. Please endeavor to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and short on. I brought in my makeshift uh, basin with water so I can try out the soup. This is a very hard bar, so we'll try it out and see how it lathers. Just little. Work. So it ladders so well, guys. This is a very successful soup. It is hard, it is creamy, conditioning, and it ladders so well, guys. You can see by this bar of soup will be used for washing of clothes for washing of our dishes so here is the soup ladders guys the very successful bar of soup just a little 
get little and you can see how it lathers very creamy mm. so here is it what makes our soup here is our lye water and oil so that's how it lathers so thank you so much for watching please endeavor to subscribe like share our video tell somebody to tell somebody about Rose Bella Naturals Thank you so much and bye-bye.